Started out by me giving her a phone call, and I guess I realized pretty quickly we weren't going to have anything in common. Really? I like, well, I mean, I like women who are deep, and she just didn't seem like a deep kind of person. She seemed more like the kind of, you know, woman who probably knows all the uh, colors of lipstick but couldn't tell you who the vice president of the United States was. Really? Well, what's your side of this phone conversation, Robin? Well, I thought he had a monotone voice, he was whiny, and he sounded very boring, and that's how he turned out to be. <laughs> so what happened? Okay, um, she's kind of half living in San Francisco, half living in San Diego right now, and I'm in San well, Diego, so... Um, <laughs> you'll have to ask her about that, but uh, she suggested I come up to uh, San Francisco for the weekend. You know, at least the, the trip will be interesting. So you arrive at the airport, and is she there to meet you? She's there to pick me up. And what was your first impression of her? I guess I was a little disappointed. In her video, um, you know, she looked cute, but she, was, she looked a little bit older in person than her real age. She did, she did have a good body, though. I will give her credit for that. Although I really do have to say, you know, it's a shame she doesn't work out a little less in her body and a little more in her mind. mind you uh, 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 I just... <laughs> well Robin uh, what did you think when I saw him mm -hmm. oh I thought he was so fine and he was just gorgeous the man of my dreams not <laughs> Deciding to do what? Um, well, she had already kind of planned out the whole date. She had. Um, yeah. Oh, that was nice. Really and um, step number so one. Were you was... appreciative of that, or were you still kind of thinking, "Oh, I wish I was out with this"? Tell him who paid for your hotel, too. What did you say? I said, "Tell him who paid for your hotel." Robin paid for the hotel. I will give her credit for that. What do you mean, give her credit? She paid for your hotel. Yeah. Yes. Excuse me, just a minute. <laughs> Why? Oh, I just thought I I wanted him to stay next to. We went to a nightclub called Harry Denton's. Uh -huh. which is one of the classiest nightclubs in San Francisco, and there's a hotel attached to it. I thought it would be a really nice experience, and, um... Gee, Manny, so? I mean, I can't believe that you, you weren't more than just giving her credit, that you weren't really impressed and appreciative of that. No, I was appreciative, and I thought that was very nice. You never um, said that thank you. That what? I you said never thank you me. No. several no, times, No, and when he, called me, when he called me from the hotel, he billed it to the room on my credit card. I, did, I called from the phone in the room. I did not right. ask to bill it to but the credit you card. you used your credit card. From the room? Why didn't you? Yeah, your calling card. Don't you, you have one? You told me to call you from the room the next morning. Did I say to bill it to me? <laughs> I didn't think about that. I just used the phone that was in the room. I'd be glad to pay you back for the phone call since that seems very important to you. So, well, let me ask you a question. So, you 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 went left and went straight to the air or straight to the hotel and then to the uh, to the club? No, we actually went out to dinner. She had picked the restaurant. She seemed fascinated by the fact that this restaurant had light fixtures that looked like breasts. That was um, why you wanted that, to go. No, no, no. There. You, you suggested the restaurant. <laughs> you told me it had light fixtures that looked like breasts, you. and <laughs> you seemed to think that was a good idea. But the bottom line is the light fixtures didn't look like breasts, so it really doesn't matter. And you were um, disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Chuck. So now, what it was happened after It a beautiful after restaurant. Very good food. Did you enjoy the food in the restaurant? Oh, the, the food was good. You know, conversation went nowhere. We had nothing in common, but the food was good. Thank Again, God I, I don't her... have anything in common with you. I give... <laughs> yeah, so... So what happened after after dinner? For some reason, she decided to take me to a wedding reception. I don't know. Maybe she felt you like since we weren't going to go. You asked me if I, I wanted to go, and I was trying to be polite Island. by saying yes. If oh. you wanted to see Treasure Island, we could stop by. It's There's beautiful. nothing on Treasure They're Island to see. It's a military base. You asked me to go to the wedding reception. I tried to be polite by agreeing, but then you showed me off like an animal in a zoo, introducing me at each table. I didn't show you as, up. Hi, this is Kurt. My love connection date. Hi, this is Kurt. My love connection date. Is this date. true, Robin? I mean, you know, if it was, it was. <laughs> it's true. Part of it's true. I was not showing him off. I was making sure everyone knew that I didn't choose this guy. <laughs> I must, no. I'm, I, I, gotta, I gotta tell you something, Kurt. As, uh -huh. as, uh, as uh, unsophisticated or unintelligent as you think this woman is, she seems to have a razor edge to her mind. To me. <laughs> <laughs>
How did this date end? She chose not to use it uh, on the date. Um, well, we went to a bar. Um, she was wearing a very low-cut dress. She did ask me if she should wear a sexy dress, and I said yes, but this was really low-cut. I would say inappropriately so. All the other people in the bar were very classily dressed. As she says, it was a classy bar, and so all the male eyes, I noticed, were on one place, and it wasn't on, you know, her face. It was a very classy dress. It, it was not low-cut. It was just... There was a lot hanging out there, Robin. <laughs> Oh, how did this date end? Oh, uh, well, you know, it was going nowhere, so, um, you know, the hotel oh, was no just... no kidding. I mean... <laughs> the hotel was right next to the bar, so, you know, I went up, went to bed, and, you know, she came and picked me up and took me to the airport the next day, and that's uh, really all there was to it. Well, there was a little bit more. What's that, Robert? Okay. Well, if I have to describe Kurt, the one word I could not use would be gentleman. Uh, he was a slob. He threw away a yogurt container... In my car, he stuffed it in between the door and the seat, and it got yogurt all over my car. Kurt! Oh, I did Why? Uh, get yogurt all over your car. It did, well, and when Robin, I, I spent it up, he more didn't than $200 it. on that trip. That's a lot more than you spent, so I wouldn't complain. About I had to get myself cheap. down there, too. I, I gotta get out of this. <laughs> I just got to. Let's take a look and see the audience pick. This was a disaster. Oh. Well, they, they thought you made the right choice. They like Robin. Well, they were sure wrong, yeah. Chuck. Well, Robin, gee, I, you know, you've come all the way down here from San Francisco and spent more money. I certainly appreciate you oh, coming no. on the show. You oh, seem I'm... like a nice person to me. Thank you. I and, had a great uh, time. I loved sorry it. Sorry we didn't make a love connection for you. That's okay. I'd sure like to see you under different circumstances. Well, thanks. Oh, thank I'd like you. to be back. Okay. And, uh, Kurt, we <laughs> thanks tried. Thanks for having me, Chuck. We tried. Hang time. on right there, okay. and we'll be right back with another couple. Stay with us.